Hello. How is everybody doing? I do have treats in my lap. Look at he's over there. I got home just a couple hours ago. <laughs> I'm tired. Mocaps, hello. How are you? Sanemia. Joe Monkey, Fudge, I got the treats. I saw that you immediately ordered up treats. My, my suitcase is literally right here too. So hold on, let me move my suitcase so we can get the cats close. Move that suitcase out the way. I'm so tired, my toenails hurt. I, I don't even know if that's possible, but they do. But they do. Oh. Oh. Okay, cats, would you like a treat? I'm losing my voice, but that's fine. Come here. Puck, you get one too. Fudge gives you a treat too. Come here, buddy. Just don't drop it in my shoe, please. All right. Cats were given treats. I've actually got my uh, lapel mic on today because I need to unpack. <laughs> I want to talk to you guys. Tomorrow is our video game day. Uh, but I need to talk to you guys about this past weekend. And then tomorrow we can dive into some games. I also need to unpack, so I'm using you guys to make sure that I unpack. I still have Tenocon upstairs. I literally just, as soon as we get, it's only been two weeks. As soon as we got home from Tenocon, I literally just put everything all over the place upstairs. So we can't do the same with our silver screen because there's no room for that. So we need to clean up. Um, we're going to go over. I've got a merch haul as well. Um, if you did not know, we actually left Wednesday to travel to Silver Screen. Our music today is Ice Nine Kills Radio because we just got back from... Danvers, Massachusetts from Ice Nine Kills Silver Scream Con this past weekend. Tillo, hello, how are you doing? So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give the rundown. We're gonna we're gonna give you the biz. I ended up driving out of Detroit Wednesday evening. And I'm I packed everything this year in one suitcase. And then my rucksack. So let me, I got Makima. She needs to be washed. Uh, she can go over here. Need to do a whole bunch of hand washing. Oh, there's a cat behind the back. What are you doing back there? What are you doing back here, little kitten cat? Are you doing stitches? Did you want me to open the bag, pull everything out? My, uh, <laughs> As Sanemius put it, my selfies didn't arrive until Friday. It was a bummer. Uh, traffic was on our side when we arrived at the office. Uh, we would have been there early, so we had the chance to go to Ikea. So if I can get everything packed up, I would really like to, uh, to do some Ikea unboxing, because I, some, some, I, got, I, got I got some goodies. <laughs> Uh, let me put this, this, what is this, this rucksack away, or at least put it on the stairs to the uh, upstairs. Just clutter the studio. Oh, yep. Yeah. Ooh. So this is where the Ikea stuff went. Aha. <laughs> Interesting. We'll leave that unlocked because I'm probably going to open that door again. Hey, little puck, what are you running to? But how was everybody's weekend? Before, oh, you want to give Stitch more treats? He goes, I know it's for me. <laughs> Puck, did you want one? Come here. No, it's for your brother. Why would you be so rude? Puck? He's like, I'm not really sure how to bite the treat without biting your nails. Uh, <laughs> but I put all of my booth 
everything I would need for the booth fit in this like 26 inch American tourist bag. And I stuffed it to the gill. And I don't think, I don't think anything broke. If I, oh, okay. We'll use this at uh, uh, one of our conventions in February. But here's our banner. Creepy, huh? Spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. You guys uh, in the Discord saw the behind the scenes of me getting ready for each day. You saw the traveling, how spooky it looked when we arrived and how spooky it looked when we departed. <clears throat> it took us 16 hours to drive from Detroit to Danvers roughly. It was supposed to take 14, but the closer we got to the venue, um, we, we just hit some wonderful rush hour. Some absolutely wonderful rush hour, Tillo. And uh, I had an incident, and I have to say thank you so much to our driver, um, <laughs> where I had, uh, we stopped along the way for, let me, let me change this camera angle so that you guys are up a little bit. Uh, we had stopped along the way for uh, to eat, obviously, and um, it was late. We got, hey, new designs. We ended up getting Arby's. I should not have gotten uh, the, the chicken. I shouldn't have gotten the chicken. <laughs> really shouldn't have. Uh, around 2 o'clock. I am politely asking our driver if he can pull over in route so that I can be sick on the side of the road. So somewhere in Pennsylvania is a little bit of Dis's DNA. Mm hmm. It <laughs> did a real quick pit stop maneuver to the side. I went out, did my business, swoosh girled some water, got back in, and you know. Uh, so when I ate the. Chinese food with you guys, that was the first like sustenance I had been able to keep down. Oh, that, uh, yeah, it was, it was, an, it was an interesting ride. It could have been worse. Hey, we're going to go this way. I'm just going to keep moving you guys. Well, <laughs> I didn't think, <laughs> really rolling the dice there with that easy. Uh, I just, I should have got the roast beef sandwich. Everybody got the roast beef, didn't have a problem, but the one person who got chicken had a problem. It, it was just one of those, one of those wonderful, unfortunate situations, I, I guess. Um, yeah. Thursday, we arrived, what, just after 10 p.m. or 10 a.m.? Sorry, forgive me. 10 a.m. And... Uh, I rolled my bag into the convention center. Hotel rooms were ready to go. Ooh, there are some fun items in here. Okay, let me see if I can scoot. Oh, there's a cat. Cat hammock in the way, but of course, cat hammock. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can I move your cat hammock? You're like, I was just walking to that cat hammock. Can you get into the cat hammock? Can I, can I scoot my chair over without? Thank you. I just needed you to, to get into the cat hammock. Twas all. Twas all, buddy. Because uh, then I'm going to scoot myself back, and we're going to consolidate some space. One, I'm close, but not touching. That's how you do a little paint transfer. Uh. Oh. Jivalai, hello. How are you doing? This is a gift that somebody brought me, Stitch. We'll go over that later. Uh, oh, there's just so much crap. <laughs> who, who brought all this? Ooh, there's a giveaway item for you guys on top. <laughs> just, I know, there's just so much shit. Um, I picked up a bunch of giveaway items at Silver Scream this year. 
Uh, I guess these can just go straight upstairs as is. So let me just pull out some of the goodies. Uh, this print is for you guys. I will show you close up what it is. Making sure that there's, oh, this gets pulled out. This doesn't need to be in there. That, that doesn't need to be in there. Oh, this one I bought for myself. It's not often I, uh, I purchase goodies for me. This can get filed away for another year of something, whatever. Uh, these go there, that goes there. We'll put... Sorry, I'm just repacking with some bubble wrap. A couple of items. Stitch, you look like you are adamantly paying attention to help. Oh, I forgot to... You didn't tell me to put these back in it, though, buddy. Fail. Fail on the supervisor's end. I picked up some small containers. These fit perfectly, perfectly inside uh, a suitcase. So that was dumb luck. Very much so dumb luck. I went shopping for a bunch of my items for you guys on Sunday. So there are not business cards uh, that I can ship with them, but I will add all of their information uh, on the Discord when we do the giveaways. But unfortunately, with this haul, there I don't have... Oh, I guess I got one artist business card. But uh, I, I did, I did last-minute shop. I was so busy. So vendors and artists ended up loading in Thursday evening from 4 p.m. I want to say to 8 p.m. 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., Dr. Evil. I'm not doing any squats. There's, there's, I am so sore, I'm sending that right back to you. There's, there's, no, nope, nope. I literally just out of a 16 hour van ride, but good try. Uh, my hair is still a little damp on the underside, but I wanted to unpack and share my stories with you guys so that we can play some video games on Tuesday. Yeah, I, my toenails hurt just from being in socks and shoes for so long. Like I sat there, I'm like, why do my big toenails hurt so bad? And it's just because just in a tour van for 14 hours, nonstop, nonstop. When we, when we crossed the border and started doing tolls, when we switched drivers, we just, we all opted just not to stop anymore. We're just like, please, let's just go home. Take me home. <laughs> you did almost two counts back to back. So we, we had a week and a half in between both of them. I put together two brand new uh, cosplays that we debuted at Silver Scream this past weekend because Alex Vincent uh, from Chucky, or Child's Play, was uh, in attendance. I decided to put together a Tiffany Valentine cosplay for Friday. Are you going to try to jump into the, into the container? I'm trying to unbox everything, Stitch, but if you wanted to jump into the box. Uh, and, it, and it worked out great. I, I loved the, the hair. People kept commenting me like, oh my gosh, we love your hair. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so not real, but thank you. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with my eyesight. So let me uh, pull up our Twitch chat on my phone. Hey, Diz, how you doing? I'm doing well, Longshot, how are you? But look how many icons are next to my name. <laughs> Quads would have brought meaning to my otherwise sad and lonely life. I'm, I'm, if I squatted, I don't think I'd be able to get back up. And like, just, no, no. I've dealt with people all weekend long. There's nothing you can say that would sad sap story me into thinking that squats was going to be a fun and exciting thing to do at this very moment in time. Illustrat, hello. <laughs> I just, I just, I sat there. I went to go charge my phone and I uh, laid on the bed for a second. And I go, huh. I wonder if the cats could just unpack for me. And like, as I started unpacking, I'm like, oh, now I gotta do laundry. 
<sighs> Just trying to get you, that's what I'm saying. Like, I dealt with parents. I dealt with parents this weekend. Even they couldn't guilt me. Ayo! <laughs> Uh, so yeah, load in, finished Thursday. I can't even remember what I ate for dinner on Thursday. I know I ate something. I'm sure it was, it was Thursday, the day that we had Chinese food, or was that Friday? I can't remember. Wednesday to Thursday was the drive-in. Thursday morning we were there. Thursday morning I think I had then. Thursday was the Chinese food. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. See, that's how long of a weekend it was. It just kind of all meshed together, new design. The suspect, uh, hello. PHB, oh, you got a new name. Oh, you lost your account. Lost your account. Were you doing, were you doing scandalous things? <laughs> These books we'll leave out. We gotta add more. <laughs> I kind of like it's been growing on me, the term selfies, when you think about, about prints. Just, my selfies came in. Too late, though. So Friday evening was day one for Silver Scream on Friday. Con or not concert, forgive me, but doors open to the convention center at 5 p.m., 4.30 for Psychos, uh, for the R.I.P. Psychos which was like the VIPs and the convention goers who had special passes. No, I just forgot the email. Oh, you were using Hotmail, weren't you still? You're like, oh, I just got my Hotmail account, but I forgot that password. <laughs> so Friday was, fair, was fairly busy. I was surprised with the, the turnout of convention goers for Friday, in, in all honesty, it, it, it was steady. My booth, when you went into the vendor's hall through the main doors, you had the first line of celebrities on your right, and then on your left, against a wall, you would have seen Joe Bob Briggs' massive banner uh, with Darcy the Mail Girl, followed by myself, uh, another cosplay group, uh, Salem Slashers, I believe is their name. Uh, I do not know. People had asked me why they weren't in attendance on Sunday. I don't know. Ask the bosses. Um, like that seemed to be people like, I don't know where they went to. I'm not a mind reader. And then there was a artist or two's booth followed by... Ice Nine Kills, a massive mountain of a merch tower. This is why we, no Gmail. Ah, <coughs> Gmail's pretty good. I uh, I haven't had an issue with Gmail. I like that you can create a bunch of accounts as long as you use them all. But yeah, sign people up for the cosplay contest on um, Friday. Friday was the RIP party. Basically, it was just karaoke, from my understanding. I thought like people were going to be uh, like party partying, but it was just it was just uh, adult beverages and karaoke, having to do a whole entire. Hey, don't chew on my boots! Oh my gosh, does anybody want a cat? I don't have nice shoes, and I literally look over and you're chewing on them, and they're wet. Oh my gosh, puck. You're such a dick. Oh, oh my God. I, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> uh, I don't like how cluttered Gmail has gotten, so I moved on to Proton. Ooh, I haven't heard of that one. Haven't heard of that one. I'm making a mountain of items that need to go upstairs. My suitcase here will go downstairs in the basement into storage. And I know what you're thinking, gosh, didn't she keep pulling shit out of this container? But I would like to say, this is light. There's not a whole lot of, I mean, okay, so the, it was actually pretty heavy to carry, but it, I could so pack more crap. 
I could so pack more stuff into here. Not the best. I already have numbers. Oh. Both are perfect. Fine. Of a cat take bath today in the coat. Just got a Oh no! A little dingleberry, you gotta save her. How embarrassing. <laughs> How embarrassing. Stitches, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, but seriously, what are you doing? What is wrong with you cats? I I was gone for only a couple of days. And you guys act like it was a month. Months. And you don't know how to behave. <laughs> Months, and you don't know how to behave. Oi. A dingleberry. <laughs> exercise time, Dr. Evil. Please enjoy your exercise. I just... <laughs> that, that pushed real quick, like... Uh, here are my pens. Tower of shit to go upstairs. I don't know where it's gonna go upstairs. Should probably go back in the tub that I pulled it from, right? Don't you talk to me like that, chat. Don't you talk to me like that. Like you know what I should be doing. <laughs> like I don't have a pile of wigs off to the corner. I stayed up. I went to the karaoke. I watched some people karaoke and then I respectfully walked right out. Uh, it, it, get, it got very warm. It got very warm in the panel and photo op area this year at Silver Scream. And uh, I get hot real quick. So I... <laughs> I, uh, I enjoyed a couple. I, 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 we were there for somebody doing Evanescence. Uh, and, and then we respectfully... Went back to <coughs> the green room, a bunch of staff and myself, and we just had a low key night. And I still went to bed fairly early. I think I, I think it was okay. Hold up, I say fairly early, and it was like one a.m., but that was fairly early. People were up till four. People were partying till four. So my one was early Friday night. Uh, convention on Saturday started at eleven for regular attendees and 10.30 for the RIP. So knowing, you know, me, I like to be there half hour early. I tried to make sure that I was there 10 o'clock uh, on Saturday just so that I could final, like do some final prep and set up with my booth. I don't like being rushed. Not, not one for being rushed at all. Um, so I got up, I think 7.30 was when I got up. When I think about it now, wasn't a whole lot of time that I slept for. Interesting. When I think about it now, it wasn't a whole lot of time that I slept for. In the moment though, didn't seem as bad. <laughs> Doesn't, didn't seem as bad as it's sounding. Ooh, let me put these over here. That way they're off to the side and I won't roll them over. Ugh. I gotta put these boots away, huh, Puck? You're eyeing them like they are just a delicious snack for you to enjoy. Oh, Pull my denim out my, my legs. Let me move this. We're gonna put the suitcase in the hallway. The tote that I used in the hallway as well. I've gotta tuck these boots away so that Makima doesn't lose her shoes. So I was able to use the same shoes for Makima for Tiffany, which was a blessing in disguise because one less thing to carry. Uh, I used the ballet slippers. So these were the shoes that I wore on Sunday or on Saturday, which for well girl, that's what we call her, for, for well girl was great. Um, ooh, there's just shit everywhere. I forget, there's just crap everywhere. I'm trying to make sure no one's eating anything that they shouldn't be. Let me put Makima, she needs to be hand washed. Remove the hat, that hat is filthy and disgusting. Uh, it needs to be washed too, I wore it for the trip into Danvers and the trip out from Danvers. 
we had on Saturday, I think a total of 46 adults and 14 or more, because I know that a, a couple of kids signed up at the very last moment while I was down there. Okay, well, we've already got it set up here. I'll put the makeup away. I got, uh, used a bunch of makeup this past weekend, too. Cheez-Its. <laughs> it was a box of Cheez-Its. It was, I thought, I was like, I'll just get a box of Cheez-Its and bring that with me as a last resort. Some, some sneaky snacks, if you will. Ugh. Samara, Sadako. I was trying to go for more of a Sadako look, but when you grab white contacts instead of black contacts, you kind of seal your fate that you have to be Samara then. Uh, so that is what transpired there. But I just took it like a, like a, uh, you know, a Bob Ross, a happy accident. Nothing I could do about it. I don't even, people just looked at me like I was a creepy person. So I <laughs> didn't have to do much crap on Saturday. No, it was very warm on Saturday. So I was over the moon with my attire. Uh, I, a part of me wishes that I would have brought or had room to bring the Huntress for Sunday. Uh, to the point that we are going to try uh, our best to make sure that we can bring her in uh, the arsenal for next year if uh, we are invited back. We we did let people know that if we get invited back, uh, if you guys would like us to, to come back to Silver Scream, Huntress for Sunday. Because it was, it was easy, breeze, like it was breezy on Sunday and it, it would not have... Uh, been too overwhelming to have had all the Huntress gear on and uh, dragging people off to their death. Then. Ninjas play for free and get free snacks. <laughs> Ninjas play for free and get free sneaky snacks. Uh, tweezers, I'll we'll put those up here. Uh, that is ibuprofen, which I did not need to use, so like, yay yeah, on that one. I'd rather bring ibuprofen just in case, you know, you get some back problems or your feet really hurt. That bridge a rolling ankle. All right, let's put this makeup bag out of the way now. It goes in the hallway closet out here. But yeah, we signed up. So again, when the floor opened, I signed up people for the cosplay contest all day all the way up until 3.30. And literally, as I was packing up at 3.30, this brush needs to go upstairs into the crate. You are a travel brush. So, uh, there you go. Let me pull this up here, making my way back to you guys. Back to the desk. Yes. I'm almost desk worthy again. Got contacts everywhere. Oh, look at these are those really freaking creepy lenses. No sympathy. Hey, I uh, was just going over our uh, guest appearance we had this past weekend in Boston. We were at Ice Nine Kills Silver Scream Con. Uh, we were their cosplay guest and helped put on their cosplay contest. I hope you had a good weekend. Now I uh, am three hours out having arrived home. <laughs> I'm unpacking. I don't know what I dropped. Oh, don't worry. I didn't drop anything important. It's just a gift for you guys. <laughs> Sharing stories. I can't even... So, and I feel bad. I can't even share some of the really good stories with you professionally because they are from... They, they, they are fun interactions with some celebrities that would not be inappropriate to share with you guys. But man... It was a weekend. It, it was a weekend, chat. Celebrities hooking up with celebrities. Scandalous. It, it was wild. <laughs> it, it was wild. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh. It was, it was a good time. It was a good time. So 
The one downside was we were low, uh, Silver Stream was low on staff this year. And it was noticeable to me when it came down to my two events. So the kids cosplay contest and the adult cosplay contest from back to back. Kids line up at 3.50 for a four o'clock show. Adults line up at uh, 4.45 for a five o'clock show. Adults usually take a little bit longer to get into a line, though they proved me wrong this year. Uh, and, and kids are like, yeah, we, we, we can actually, we, we got the line and the counting thing done. Um, No one knew who was supposed to move the tables. First off, the panel, too, that happened before the kids' cosplay contest had taken a turn. Uh, like they, they had started on one topic, and they had... At one point, they were talking about fleshlights and sex juices, and I immediately looked to the parent that just walked in with their child. They looked at me. We made that panicked eye contact. They picked, they and their kid walked out, and I, I immediately went outside, and I just sat in the hallway, and as the parents were coming around the corner, <laughs> I go, I'm sorry. I, I respectfully don't think that the panel right now is appropriate for children, so we're just kind of hanging out here. We're just hanging out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So hold on, hold on. Let me... I, I want to know what that panel was supposed to be about. The movie Crypt Alive with Adam Green and Joe Lynch. That's what it was? Oh, okay. So hold on. The movie Crypt Alive. A special live episode of Movie Crypt. There was... They were show, like there was sex going on and everything, and I was just like, "What is happening here?" I, my teacher flag is, I don't know, but I don't think that it should be right before the kids go to my boy contest. Um, <laughs> so the kids are showing up. I'm lining them up down the cool end of the hallway because again, if you were in attendance at Silver Scream, it was cooking. It was cooking. It was very warm. It was very humid. There's a hurricane apparently uh, rolling in this weekend. So that's not helping the situation. Right, Puck? Right, buddy. And uh, it was felt on the inside until it rained Saturday night. But that was after the concert had already let out uh, or, you know, was already in full, full motion. So the kids are lining up. And I'm looking down and I'm like, okay, it's 357. I'm gonna go check inside the panel room, make sure the stage is good to go. I walk in, nothing's changed. And I look to the sound guys because I've been literally at my booth all day long, hanging out with people. I didn't know what was gonna, I didn't know what was happening. And uh, <laughs> sound guy goes, yeah, no, I, your team's supposed to move the tables. And I went outside. I think I got some, some weave glue on my forehead, pardon me. By the way, not going to cut off the story, just wondering if you uh, play horror games, because next month I'll reach out to a bunch of content creators to do some games together, if you're up for it. I would love to play some horror games. I am a big baby when it comes to jump scares, um, but I am always open to, an, to a fun time, and if you need it, <laughs> I... <laughs> no sympathy. I would, I would gladly uh, chat with you about, uh, about that, for sure, for sure. Um, I'd say we could even dress up as the Huntress on this end if you want it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, hey, Pucky. <sighs> I go outside to check on the kids, knowing that the tables are still on the stage. And I see Georgie, a, co a, a kid cosplayer, Georgie, full on the biggest tears coming from her eyes melt down in the hallway. Sitting on the floor, no shoes, no socks, holding feet. I made con eye contact with the mother. I gave the nod and I turned and ran in and I go, I'm moving the tables, let's go. <laughs> I 
I go, I go, can I put them in the back? Can I put them in the front? What's going to be the easiest way? I'm going to move these tables. I go, this needs to happen in two minutes. I've already lost two kids. And one of them is the most wholesome person. There was a, like a little, a, uh, a little uh, boy running around just stabbing people. And I was like, oh, if you killed me, would you clean up? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, you're so wholesome. <laughs> but I was like, this needs to happen now. This needs to, this, this, I got two kids down. It's four o'clock. This should actually be a three o'clock event. Like retrospect, I'm thinking around <laughs> three o'clock, um, like needs to happen. There's, and so I got on stage and I, there was one silver scream, uh, staff that I, I begged. I was like, could you please like stay just please. Cause like if, if this panel room caught fire right now, I am not the adult that people would turn to to think, oh, she's got us covered. <laughs> hey, Operator Emma. Yes, I wish I had seen you as a teacher. <laughs> I wouldn't, uh, like, I just knew. They're not going to be like, yes. The creeptastic cosplayer dressed up as the ring that is probably the size of my 11-year-old son is going to be the adult that should lead us directionally into the future. So... I pleaded, I begged, they said they had a photo uh, op that they had to get to later. I was like, just stay for as long as you can, please. <laughs> I begged, I begged, I begged, I begged. And you know what? They obviously felt pity upon me. Um, and they go, what do you need to do? I go, just stand here in case something happens. <laughs> I was like, I'll run around. I'll line the kids up. I've been signing them up. I will, you know, I'll MC it. I will, I will, you know, we'll judge it. Because uh, the, the staffer did have uh, special effects and uh, like horror background. They had worked with celebrities in, in special effects and, and been extras in situations. So like, I knew like, we're staying. I know that it sounds like a choice, but it's not. Raptor, hello. Uh, we are going over the stories right now from Silver Scream. And so, uh, yeah, the, the kids seem to have had a good time. We went through them all. Some of the kids were creepier than others. That's just how it is. And uh, one one kid cosplayer d memorized a whole entire speech. Uh, I got a glow. There, like another, uh, like they have great stage performance as kids, you know? And, and so, like, it was... It was a good time. Oh, there is a duck in my purse. Uh, I got some random ass shit given to me this uh, this past weekend, and I may have forgotten to uh, turn in my hotel keys. <laughs> it's fine. It's it's fine. Don't look at me that way. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> uh, so the kids had a good time. I I tried to stay in the cartoon character, overly positive, happy, excited me. And uh, just wanted to make sure that the parents and the kids knew how much I appreciated them. At the end of the Kids Cosplay Contest, I got all of the kids up on stage, whether or not they participated or, uh, you know, or not. If you were in a costume attire, come up for a group photo. And with the kids, I always like to do a serious photo and then a goofy photo. And I, like, was... It was really strange because they gave me the microphone and, and, and I had that moment where I'm like, <laughs> I've got the power. <laughs> I immediately felt like, I'm pretty sure I can say whatever I want <laughs> at this point. So I did. I called all of those parents' children's creepy. I called a bunch of people in the audience psychos. I don't think I have ever chatted with such a joyfully responsive and cheery crowd before in my life. <laughs> they made me feel like I was so funny. <laughs> when the parents, uh, some of the parents approached me the next day, I was like, I feel like I could have called your children crotch goblins and you guys would have cheered. And the dad was like, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I was just like. <laughs> my my uh my bridge troll was showing at one point. I I had to waddle on stage with all of the money and trophies and like a microphone and paperwork, and like I literally got to the middle of the stage and did a little waddle and I go, oh, I'm sorry, my bridge troll is showing. <laughs> I was just, it was. <laughs> 
I'll read some series the same as Baltimore Comic Con next weekend. My friend and I started planning a group cosplay, and I think you're going to need to see it. Ooh! Was Baltimore Comic Con also last weekend, too? Because that I did not know. Um, yeah, the, uh, the kids did great. The kids did great. The kids have so much charisma and stage performance, too. And again, I do believe there has to, that has to do with a little bit of, like, not being as self-aware as adults or, you know, thinking that people are going to judge you or remember you for all of the negative and not the positive. So it's just, it's just so innocently wholesome and grotesque to watch the kids uh, prance across the stage and do their thing. And then, of course, the adults take place. So we finished the kids' contest early. Wonderful, respectfully early, kept it moving, kept it grooving, because again, it's happening already late in the day, and the later that this runs on, the more children I'm going to lose. <laughs> so again, the parents seemed like they had a, a wholesome good time, and, and that is, it's for the kids, it's for the parents. Perfect. Uh, we had about a half an, a little shy of a half an hour between the kids and the adults. I made an announcement 15 minutes to, hey adults, meet me in the hallway. Uh, I waited a couple more minutes because I figured they were all literally just gonna like clusterfuck in the hallway. And I walked out there and I, <laughs> Silver Scream adult cosplay contestants, I even told you guys to your faces, but I was like, I told those kids that adults didn't know how to line up. And I walked outside, I go, you guys are in a line? I go, are you guys in numbered order? And they go, yes. I go, oh man, I need to say sorry because I told the kids that they were so much better than the adults that the adults didn't know how to form a line, like how cool the kids were. <laughs> uh, uh, but it took me a little bit longer to get the parents uh, and the adults. I say parents because some of the parents then switched from supporting kids to be like, all right, now it's my turn. Um, so the adults then, we lined them all up. I tried to see if we could start it early, but we were missing a couple of the adult cosplayers, but we started promptly at five. Promptly at five, because the Ice Nine Kills concert started at 7.30, doors opened at 6.30. They scheduled the adult cosplay contest to last two hours, only in the... Only with international and masquerade contests have I ever seen a cosplay contest uh, last two hours. There is no international need for a two-hour horror cosplay contest for adults. No need. Like, the, the, like I, I, there's... Did you need me to talk for a whole entire hour? Uh, so I got through... 46 adult cosplayers walked across the stage and took at least two poses at the center of the stage for photos. And it took like a half hour. It took like a half hour. I then gave them a little uh, deliberation moment. I was like, I need to wait for cash. Give me some time to deliberate, you know, with the other staffers and... Uh, yeah, we, we waited for money. Everybody, I, I said, I told some jokes. I hope that somebody recorded it because it just seemed to move so quickly that like I, I didn't I didn't get to savor. I didn't get to savor the event. It was like a quick like inhale of cupcakes and, and then it was over. Uh, speaking of cupcakes, I need to do a, a, a big mom cosplay from One Piece so that I can enjoy some cupcakes. Yeah, that's that's gonna happen sooner than later. And uh, the adults, we gave out awards. First place went to a group who had literally known, they must have competed last year because the cosplayers brought me a piece of paper where they had handwritten out all of the details of how they handmade every single piece of their cosplay. So they must have known that there was that, that note section for judges to, to really hear the nitty gritty of how you put your cosplay together. And then uh, the, it, was a, it was Moondrop and Roxanne from Five Nights at Freddy's that won first place for the adults. And then second place went to a female dressed up as Pyramid Head 
really, she, she made a lot of her cosplay and her sword that she built actually had like flint sticks at the bottom so that when she dragged it across the asphalt or the concrete, it sparked. She tried to decapitate me too when she came off the stage, so like that's a win-win. And then third place went to a or to a Master Chief Halo. Dude was rocking that Halo suit all day long in convention, and like it was, it was just really well formed to one's body. Uh, so like that was really cool. Again, I read the notes that you guys write. It is kind of the honor system when it comes to it. I'm never gonna call anybody out for anything because this is not an international contest. It is a fun more relaxed type of craftsmanship, performance, and creativity uh, cosplay contest, and I just want everybody to have a stellar time. Not everybody can win. It happens. Uh, so yeah. yeah, I can't wait to see what happens next year. Again, when we ended the adult cosplay contest, I brought all of the adults onto stage uh, for a group photo. I even called two people out who I had thought had sick ass makeup who didn't compete. I was like, I see you two in the audience with your makeup. Come on up here. And they're like, us. I was like, yeah, you. Come on. And they were like, okay. Um, like, it's cosplay is about inclusion. We're all dressing up as a made up pixel. Come on. It's either all funny or none of it's funny. Hold on, Kane. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, the Darth Doggo. There was a Scream Slasher dog running around and had like a little knife in its fake hands. So, like when it, its front legs waddled, the little hand waddled too, like he was going to kill you. Um, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> When the adult contest ended, I knew that everybody was going to want to run from the panel room to get to their cars to head to the con concert. So I reminded them profusely, those of you heading to the concert, we did end early. Please drive slowly and safely to the concert venue. I wanted to see all of their zombie faces the next morning because they were up till 4 a.m. And then they still wanted to drag their asses through the vendor's hall, you know, for that last day of huzzah. What were they running from? It probably would have been me. <laughs> uh, no, uh... The Ice Nine Kills concert Saturday night of Silver Scream Con, it happens off-site. So we're very lucky for Astronomicon that sometimes we can have the Twisted concert and the Yemeni bands perform on-site. It makes it real easy uh, to manage. But uh, the Ice Nine Kills concert happened off-site. I believe it was 27 minutes away or rarely a seat. Some of the, the kids that came back said it was like a $33 car ride. I guess if you're splitting that car between four people, that's not that bad to safely get you, you know, from the convention center back to your hotel. Safety is important. And, uh, yeah, so after the, the contest, I went back to my booth, hung out, chit-chatted, closed out the vendor's hall because uh, the vendor's hall closed at 7.00. And then I, I ate food. That's what I did. I ate that pile of pasta. To show you the power of flex tape, I sawed this car in half. <laughs> I, I, uh, no, I missed lunch because we had been so busy. And again, that's how I, I, you could also feel that there was, they were light on staff. It's just, it was constant. It was it was so constant. I couldn't step away from my booth to eat lunch. So when things closed up and it was seven, I made a plate of food for the first time. Ah. It it was delicious. And it and I know like it was Oh, I was just so hungry. And then I went upstairs and uh, showered, changed, and came back down to hang out with everybody till about like 11, 11-ish. Uh, when I saw that the cars were starting to come back from the concert venue and people were bringing some of the red balloons back with them, I thought now was the time for me to go to bed. Because if I didn't go to bed now, I too would have stayed up till 4 a.m. And then there'd been no way that I would have been dressed up as Makima, packed 
and ready for the last day of convention. Oh my gosh. The scariest thing I saw this weekend was a guy did uh, Sean Connery as Zed from uh, Zardoz, complete with the cod piece. Did not need to see that. Google if you don't know. <laughs> I, I watched Zohar. Zohar? Zohan? Zohar? Zohar? The Adam, the Happy Gilmore... Happy Madison, or what is what's Adam Sandler's studio? Zohan, there it is. <laughs> that was my Friday night. Uh, Saturday night, I watched The Hangover 3, and I uh, stayed awake until they gave him the uh, intervention, and then I slowly started to fade away. <laughs> so Sunday was Makima. I always like to throw a little anime, especially a little horror anime into the mix, right? Keeping keep things creepy, but still anime creepy. Uh, and then we had a moment. My one of my bosses and I, we we had a we had an interesting moment that uh oops, I just threw money places. <laughs> to say the least. I asked a bunch of people who go, oh, are you Makima? And I would be like, yes. And they'd be like, can I get a photo with you? And I would be like, do you want to be my dog? The, <laughs> the first convention goer that came up to my booth uh, for Sunday and was like, oh, my goodness. Are you Makima from Chainsaw Man? And I was like, yes, I am. She goes, oh, my goodness. Can I get a photo with you? And I was like, yes. Would you like to be my dog? And at this moment, the boss is walking and I see him from the peripheral of my eye go over his shoulder like this. And he pulled back a little bit when she ex excitedly goes, yes. <laughs> took our photos. She went on her way. I took a couple of steps back. And I go, uh, so you heard that, huh? <laughs> and he goes, yes. Have you been asking people that all weekend? I go, no, 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 no. Just today. It's for the cosplay. And he goes, you were going to ask everybody? I go, yes. Or woof. <laughs> and then at the end of the day, as we're loading up, I'm like, you want to see some stellar photos from the day? Check this out. And he goes, you really? I'm like, yeah. There was an 11-year-old boy that came up to my booth and was like, are you Makima from Chainsaw Man? And his mom was like, he does a Denji. And I was like, oh, you should have brought Denji here. And he's like, I didn't think anybody would know Chainsaw Man or that, you know, it's a horror convention. I was like, but Chainsaw Man's a horror anime. I go, heck yeah. And, and uh, they show me photos that he was Denji a couple weekends ago at the Comic-Con and all this. It, <laughs> I, he goes, can I get a photo with you? And I'm like, sure, no problem. So I walk out and immediately, again, I go to think to ask, but my filter goes, this, this is a minor. You need to ask permission from the mother before you ask the child if they want to be your dog. So I, mom, I, uh, I don't know how to ask this uh, to you, but would it be all right if I asked your son to be my dog? And she excitedly goes, yes, 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 yes. The kid who is literally where Puck's at right now goes, yes. He grabs the chains out of my hands before I can even turn to him and throws them around himself. <laughs> How'd that go for you, Puck? And uh, I, I, was, I was a little taken aback, <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was one of those moments you're like, yeah, this is real life right now. This is, this is really happening. But I asked permission first, so like, <laughs> I asked permission. I <laughs> Mom said it was okay. <laughs> uh, this is just, oh, I put the all access pass. I can show you guys the pass. Here is my pass from this past weekend. 
We had an all-access pass because we were running their cosplay contest and running around with our heads chopped off. We also needed to uh, get into some areas that, uh, for our events, that uh, if I had a different badge, they would uh, not let me, like, go to the table behind the panel room to put down the trophies so not everybody sees them. Uh, so, yeah, it's a little holographic. It's really cool. It's got the same logo on it that, let me show you, Dun, dun, dun. That the hoodies had. So here is the front of their zip-up hoodie from this year. It's got the uh, embroidered mask, slasher mask on it. The silver screen mask can also be found too on the back. It's a nice little patch. My head's cropped off. So yeah, it's a... I think this is a size medium we picked up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tis but a flesh wound. Tis but a flesh wound. Um, this year, we were in the program. Just don't look at how they spelt my name. It's fine. It's it's really fine. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna go over my haul. Sunday was easy peasy. We loaded out. Okay, I say that in gist, but it wasn't easy peasy. There was issues with getting all of the extra boxes and gear onto the bus. Lack of communication, miscommunication, some people's first time doing a convention and thinking that, you know, they might have all the time in the world to load out. But, like, we got to go back to Detroit two hours ago. Um, so, this, that, and the other. <laughs> we ended up leaving Boston, Puck, two hours later than we had anticipated. It, it happens. Had to... Lunch at 1, had dinner at 9.30, and uh, it was McDonald's. It was the same McDonald's that we stopped off from last year. I was like, yes, this, this is the exact same place that we road stopped last year. But let's talk about merch, because the ride home was pretty straightforward and boring. I picked up on Friday, as doors were opening, I had the pleasure of walking around the uh, convention hall and checking this out beforehand and then as soon as doors opened as you psychos were sprinting sprinting you guys were those rips as soon as they opened the door you guys started running uh because i was like oh the doors are open i'm gonna walk myself across the way do to do to do to do to get this print here and i was like whoa gonna get run over <laughs> But I managed to make it over to Amanda's booth uh, to pick up this Huntress print. How cool is that? I'll have to, uh, I'll take a photo and put it up in the Discord, but like, how cool is that Huntress print? I, it spoke to me. And I was like, only $15? What? It's already matted and everything. It just needs to be put into a frame. I grabbed, oop, I grabbed her business card as well. I liked her work so much. I had chatted with her, uh, Amanda and her, I want to say significant other or in staff, we'll just say in staff, her, her booth staff, last year, uh, and it was just a delightful conversation, just absolutely delightful conversation. This year, there was something that spoke to me, a little Huntress here. This is the only mini print that they had. They, she had a larger print too, but the mini prints just fit better on my wall spread. I could just fit more, more art on the wall if it's tinier. And I was like, I need this. She goes, oh, it's the only one I have. I was like, perfect. I'm glad that I got it before any of the other cretins come this way. What I have for you guys from Amanda is a little, a little Poe. So I did pick up, well, I didn't pick it up. They brought it to me at the end of the day and was like, hey, Sunday. Do you want some Poe? And I was like, I know who would like some Poe because I've already got one of their wonderful prints. And I was like, let's share it, share the love. So we'll be doing this Amanda print uh, 
as one of our Discord giveaways coming up this year for you guys. Now, this is where things start to get tricky because I ended up not being able to get business cards for these next artists, but we have already previously uh, enjoyed their art in Discord giveaway fashion. Last year, I picked up two print or two. Let me pull it up so that I am not just talking out of my ass right now. Don't switch. We're going to go to the subscribers giveaway section and just let me scroll back a bit. I had picked up two patches. There we go. It is from Brain Dead Customs. I picked up two patches last year. One was the white mask that looked like this. The second one was the uh, red and or the teal and purple variant mask that looked like this. They had them in keychain form this year. So I picked up both of them. But what I also saw was this red design as well. Uh, so I picked up three keychains uh, so that we'll do like a, a we'll, we'll do, we'll do three giveaways, whatever. Like I, I just, you know, it's like three stellar keychains from Brain Dead for you guys. I thought they were awesome. Such a handsome man behind all oh, stitches. Stitches, you're handsome. Boop. They they missed me very much so. I did I didn't believe it uh until I got home and when I walked through the door, Stitch was in complete disbelief that uh I was here. Just complete disbelief. Complete disbelief, that little kitty cat. Gotta go get some sleep now. Have to wake up early tomorrow. Ooh, Team Mr. Fox, sweet dreams. Sweet, sweet, sweet dreams. Oh, I didn't even see the different colors. Um, so, next up, from our uh, giveaway haul, there was Stefan Skolin, the Wicked Wall Masks. Remember those pumpkin resin pieces that I picked up last year and shipped out to you guys? We're doing it again. So I've got two more. I <laughs> just... Look it, it's the key master and then the uh, the gate, like the gatekeeper and the key master because one's got a key on his forehead and one's got the little keyhole. So I picked up these two little Ugg mugs. I thought they were gold and they, I didn't even realize that they were like filled with different color resin. Even better. Um, what the artist does is he usually puts magnets on the backs after he has painted them all up. The, the art teacher in me was just like, oh, if I get them these, then they can paint them however they want. I liked the uh, toe that I picked up. A part of me uh, thinks that I'm going to make a three-toe necklace for a witch costume of mine. Um, but but maybe, maybe I'll have a change of heart and want to give these ones away to you guys as well. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know where my, where'd I put my other, where'd I put my other toe, puck? Is it up here somewhere? I don't think I put it away. I think I left it out. Where's my toe? Has anybody seen my toe? Oh, it's in the box upstairs. <sighs> my toe is in the box upstairs. Um, but yeah, I, I just think these toes are just so cool. <laughs> little, little toes. He's got drilled holes in them too. So I picked up two more of these. These ones again are definitely for you guys. They're on your guys' stash. Hold on, your guys' stash goes into the tub that's down here. But yeah, giveaways, giveaways, giveaways. This month, we will do, because I, what, I need to throw up a giveaway tomorrow, I think. Yeah, the 14th, we're going to do a giveaway on the 14th, and since it's September, we're going to do a giveaway on the 14th, or no, tomorrow's the 12th, the 12th and the 19th. Uh, we're going to be doing these ones. I'm going to be doing the, like, Halloween festive sculpture giveaways. So tomorrow, one of these will go live in the subscriber giveaway section. Please uh, look for those. That way you guys could possibly get these in time to paint them and uh, put them on your fridge or whatever for the spooktastic Halloween season. So yay team for that. Coming at you, the first one, tomorrow. And I'm going to leave these out here so that I can remember that one. Yas. Yas, yas, yas. But yeah, toes for me, creepy masks for you, 
Edgar Allan Poe for you guys. It's a bunch of dope keychains for you guys. It was it was a good it was a good time. I got some Oh. People gave me some really cool gifts. I got some stickers from some King Convention goers. I did get a Ice Nine Kills commemorative concert ticket. I don't know. The the boss had a bunch of these and was like, here, commemorate this. <laughs> uh, get the guys in the mail, nice! I'm glad that your guys' goodies are slowly but surely arriving all around the world. All around the world to you, slowly but surely. So yeah, I, we we picked up that that. Uh, I guess I could just leave it in here. I really don't need to take it out of this. That is my bill book. We also uh, again, I I accidentally stole the stole my hotel keys. Whoopsies! After the adult cosplay contest, somebody gave me a glow stick. It it was glowing for most of the trip on the way home. Should probably throw it away, because this is how like something starts to leak all over the place. Thank you so much for that lurk fudge. Threw it away. I had a blast with it. I was even singing um, <laughs> and annoying some people. Somebody had stopped by my booth and I saw a gentleman lean over and then walk away, but I couldn't see like what they did because they didn't pick anything like up. They left me a little tiny duck. Apparently there were some convention goers just leaving little tiny ducks all over the place. I'm okay with it. Quack, quack. So I got a little, a little plastic duck. Another convention goer was having people pick little candy bracelets out of a tote or a little bag that they had. This one says Billy from Saw. I was like, oh, I actually think I'm probably one of the few wrists that this bracelet could fit on. So it's a good thing that I picked this one out. <laughs> I said, I was like, wow, this is a tiny one. I was like, it must have been fate. <laughs> and then after the cosplay contest, we had a Eddie Munson from Stranger Things. Dude gave me a necklace pick. How cool is that? And it's in red. And we know that red's my favorite color. Red and black. I just thought that was so cool. So thank you so much. A little necklace pick. That was, that's so sweet. That's so, that's so sweet. Another convention goer gave me bookmarks to promote uh, books that she's writing. Another convention goer gave me stickers of tattoos that she's designed for her and her friends that they have actually have on their body, which I thought was pretty cool too. Like all forms of art, you know me. I'm actually, I think, going to stick these little small ones of it on my uh, trash can upstairs. Put them next to the big booby girls. My, my, my voluptuous ladies, my pretty ladies, my sticker ladies. Uh, okay, let me shift these off to the side as we are making our way through. On Sunday, I had... I had Michael. <laughs> Give me a knife. I I I, uh, I I got I have my my first plastic killer knife. I'm so happy that it made it all the way back to Michigan in one piece. It's even bloodied too. It's already stabbed some people. It's completely dull. It's not real for those of you. It is plastic. So you can feel it here. It's plastic, but like. Just in time for the spooky season. I've got my first bloody knife. I thought that was really nice. When they said it's yours, I was like, are you, what? You, you, you brought me a knife? I, <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> uh, so that was, that was really nice. That was really nice. A knife. Um, it just happened so fast. Like, I know I say the same thing about TennoCon, but this was like a different type of work fast, not like fun fast. So I think I need to clarify that. I had a lot of fun at TennoCon. TennoCon was like pure pleasure. 
no, like, yeah, you know, as a content creator and, you know, cosplayer, this, that, and the other, but, like, GenoCon was a funsy convention. Not not a booked, I've got, you know, somebody checking in, I need to make sure that I, oh, I need to make sure that, oh, it's so going to be too, I'm sorry, Caitlin, I will send you an email. We are supposed to have a conversation today regarding, but I am here with you guys, so obviously I prioritized. <laughs> my bad. My bad. I'm fixing my contacts, if you guys were wondering what's going on here. I've got regular contacts, and then Makima, and then the yellow contacts. I didn't know if Tiffany had yellow contacts in her eyes, but her eyes are green, and so I took that as I didn't have to wear contacts. Like, <laughs> we're good. Just wear some strong makeup, and it'll work out just fine. So that's what I did. Put these here. Perfect. Push that in. Oh, let me put the contact solution away. So glad I got my lapel microphone on and could just walk with you guys around the house. My voice is slowly going again. That's fine. I don't think, though, that that knife can open up this box. Gotta run for a bit. Go for it. Run, 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 run. As fast as you can. I am going to open this package of selfies. <laughs> what we missed out on. And uh, then I think we're going to be wrapping up stream. It's just going to be a, a small stream today. We got a stream tomorrow morning. Get to play some video games with you all. Yes. All right, here we go. I saved these boxes because they've got really nice sides of cardboard to use. <sighs> la, da, da. Let's, uh, come on, peel that up. Let's check them out. How did they turn out? We ran out of a bunch of prints, and I was hoping to have restocked prior to Silver Scream, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. Uh, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. So I have prints now. And I'm just going to stick them in the book as I go through them. That way, nothing happens. Um, actually, I should count inventory before I do this. Blast! Where's that sense of responsibility coming in at? So we've got more of the teeth prints. Grr. We got uh, Tubi. Uh, ooh, this one would have been a good one to have. A little ivy. Moxie. We ran out of my legs, so I had to restock this one. Rats. We ran out of this Moxie, so I had to restock that one. I just did a one-off because I thought no one's going to want this as Bill Mosley, but maybe. <laughs> That's just for me to see who's the creepy person. <laughs> I did another one-off of the octopus because I'm like, I don't know who's going to want this print either. <laughs> a little uh, Garuda as well. Not a lot of people go for Warframe. I should have ordered more than just two of these. That was stupid. Uh, apparently, I only ordered two of the Hunter's Prints, which was a silly choice. And then, again, another one-off of this guy, too. But, yeah, those are some cool prints. Those are some fun prints. I've got to, I realize I've got to count inventory of what I had from this past weekend before I can put new inventory in. Got to do it the correct way. I know what you're thinking. Got to do it correctly. Oh, there's another folder. Hold on. Two folders. I thought I ordered more than just that. I thought I ordered more than just that. Ha-ha. Yeah, I did. Okay, so here's another Teethies. Moxie. And Moxie. 
So yeah. Nice. No, very nice. I like this. I like it, I like it, I like it. I wonder why... I wonder how many pieces of paper you're supposed to, like... Why did they split this up? There's only like four prints in the other one. How many legs do you have? What are you, a spider? <laughs> long legs, dis. Dis with the long legs. Not the short legs. <laughs> so that is my homework then, is to count inventory. I did wear face masks, and I also brought some N95s with me. So my raspy voice right now is just because I haven't shut the fuck up this weekend. I've just kept it going. Just kept it going. I got so many people to respond back to uh, via social media. I want to share all the photos. So if you guys are tagging me in your creeptastic, psycho, bloody, gorific photos of me killing you this weekend, I will reshare them all. I'm going to do it. Delicious. Oh, I need to unwind. I've appreciated sharing all the stories that I am allowed to share with you. <laughs> oh, man. Ask me about it at TenoCon next year. <laughs> What is our schedule for this week? Here it is coming at you. First off, we need to say congratulations to Jack Lack for winning our Silver Stream Cons Warframe Platinum giveaway. Tomorrow, we'll be giving away Platinum on stream to one lucky ten on the platform of your choosing. This week, tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Come right back here. We're going to play some Warframe. I'll have some Platinum to give away to a Tenno. And then Thursday, we're going to be doing more Warframe. I want to chill. I want to hang out. I got some Archon Hunts to do. Steel Path Incursions. Let's go. We're making friends. We're playing video games. Rarely asleep. If I point the knife at you, Spiral Seahorse, are you going to come back tomorrow? <laughs> you know what? Maybe we'll... I asked the gentleman who gave this to me if they had a social media presence, and they said no, because this will be something fun that maybe we can do a look with for, uh, for next month. I don't know. The thoughts. A little stabby, 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 stabby. The thoughts. Tomorrow. Come back here. Also tomorrow, and I'll remind you because we're going to be streaming, we're going to be doing our first of two giveaways. And remember... Subbies, I will ship around the world. This, 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 this for the knifey, knifey. It's really blunt. Like, it's, it, it, it's, it's completely plastic. You, you couldn't even... You couldn't cut anything with this. You couldn't even dent a loaf of bread. <laughs> All right. I can't wait to see everybody tomorrow morning. I will do the squats in the morning. I will prep myself. I will rest. We'll squat in the morning. I'm going to clean up that pile of shit behind me. Get everything ready to go. We'll count the inventory. We're going to close out Silver Scream. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much, too, to everybody that hung out with me this past weekend at Silver Scream Con, that participated in the cosplay contest. Thank you so much to those awesome parents and parental guardians, friends, family that support your fellow cosplayers. We need all that support we can, too, because it is a lot of work to, uh, to get the nerve to walk across that stage in front of your friends and peers. So... Thank you so much. I can't wait to see everybody again next year and all of you crazy friends tomorrow, 10 a.m. Right back here for some Warframe fun. Warframe fun. Yeah. Bye. Have a good one.